you know, zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> Well, hello there, you guys, and welcome back to another video, part of my ABC series. We are on the letter E. This entire video was inspired by this candle from Evil Queen. It's called Pool Party. It smells like pineapple, coconuts, and bikinis. This is because there's nothing better than day drinking. <laughs> We're just going to get into it. Alright guys, we're jumping into this one, starting off with the e.l.f. bubble mask, and we're just putting this all over my face. You guys know this is one of my favorite drugstore masks. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that off, and then we're going to go on to the next part of skincare. This is one of my current favorite masks from Elmis. It's their Peptide 4 mask. This texture is so weird. <laughs> I have a full tutorial on Elmas products, so make sure to go and check that out, part of my skincare Sundays. Then we're going to be putting on the Pore Refining Primer Mask from e.l.f. We're using a lot of e.l.f. in this video, and I am not mad at all. We're going to keep it on for just about 5-10 minutes, wipe it off, or take it off, and then we're going to rub it in. For under the eyes, I use this e.l.f. Balm, and then we're using the e.l.f. I mean, the Elmis, wow, oh my god, a tongue twister. The Elmis Pro Collagen Cream and then the Glow Cream from e.l.f. So now we're moving on to primer. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Lots of like e.l.f. in this E video here. We've got a lot of e.l.f. It's actually a little tough to find a lot of brands that started with E, you guys. So here we are again with a very difficult video. I feel like as we get more into the middle of the alphabet, it's gonna get a little easier, a little more fun. You never know what these things come out to look like. So we're gonna start off with foundation. I don't know where I'm going with this look just yet because I know that we don't have any setting powder at all. And I feel like that's a common problem thus far in our videos. I'm thinking this is gonna be a little abstract. Let's see. Hold on. We're going to put the face products on first, I think. I don't know. I don't know. So this is the color 20. So I'm going to try to soak up as much foundation in my foundation, in my sponge as I can. I'm kind of even it out because we don't have any. Oh my God. I don't have concealer either. Oh Lord, what is this gonna turn into? I'm gonna just make it a little thicker underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna give that foundation a kind of like a second to like set on my face and dry a little bit while we do the brows. I have not used powder on my brows in a very very long time. Uh -huh. This foundation literally comes off with a swipe of your hand. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, what is this? We have a little powder in here. This may go so bad or so good. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna at least set like the the rough areas that like need to be set. I think that's a little better. We're okay. I think we're okay for now. For now. So this is a little like orangey red. Definitely not the brow color I should be using. Oh my god, every time I scratch any part of my face, I literally scratch the foundation right off. <sighs> I'm gonna attempt to put bronzer on and hope that it doesn't get all blotchy because we don't have any powder. You could tell that this foundation isn't, it's not, definitely not going to dry down because every time I touch a powder, you can like see it, like even on the brow, you could like see that it's still wet. 
Wow, I don't know how people don't use powder. Are there people out there that don't use powder? So this side didn't didn't uh, come out that bad. This one, uh, guys. When I took on this challenge, I didn't really think like it was gonna be like it was gonna make me look like a horrible like makeup artist. <laughs> okay, back with the voiceover again. We're using both of these beautiful e.l.f. palettes for the eyes. You guys, can I just say that I was so impressed with these e.l.f. palettes. Like, why can't some high-end brands have as good quality products as e.l.f.? Like, <laughs> is that too much to ask? <laughs> if e.l.f. can do it, anyone can. So I'm just going to blend all those shadows together into a look. You guys, I like to do voiceovers whenever I get a little more creative because it lets me kind of just do my thing, thing and not worry about what's going on camera wise. So I just used a bunch of elf shadows to kind of start a spotlight eye. And then I used this beautiful cream shadow from Essence, another very, very affordable brand. Put that in the center. And then we're using this beautiful elf liquid liner, glitter liner. And then I jumped to an Ico liquid liner for the eyes. And then for mascara, this is an e.l.f. mascara. It's a water resistant mascara and it is water resistant. When it comes off, it comes off almost like, like plastic, like, or like rubber. It's very weird. <laughs> I added some highlighter all over my face. I'm pretty sure it was just a shadow from that e.l.f. palette. And I went crazy with the highlighter. I add a little more glow from this liquid glow from e.l.f. I'm gonna go pop on some lashes. Okay, right, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna do like a couple little freckles on the face. I have the Essence Rock and Roll Eyeliner Pen, and then I have a bunch of glittery e.l.f. liquid liners. So we're gonna start off with this one. For lips, I have two lip products. We're gonna start off with the Elizabeth Arden and Reese Witherspoon lipstick. Look how cute this is. Then we have this really pretty lip color from Ellis, Elias Foss, I believe is that how you say it? Ooh, I don't know. And this is in the color L407. That's pretty. Then we're gonna spray some of the Evian, Evian Natural Mineral Water all over our face. This is gonna be the glowiest, dewiest look of your life. So now I gotta do something with this hair. So I have this Purse Perfect Hair Towel it Tames Frizz, Smooth Aways, Fly Aways, and Refreshes on the Go. We're gonna use this in just a second. First, we're gonna use the Dry Shampoo from Eva NYC. Freshen up dry shampoo. Give my hair some life. There we go. Now we gotta take one of these and we just like smooth this through our hair and it gives us some shine, tames the flyaways. And here is the final look for letter E. You guys, I definitely did not expect this look to come out looking like this. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have like a natural makeup look because a lot of the stuff that I had here was just not like super crazy or anything but kind of like how it came out. So that is it for my E video part of my ABC series. Make sure to subscribe to me here and click the notification bell ding-a-ling and you know, do that so you don't miss out on any other on any other videos, including my ABC series. To check out my other ABC series videos, please click over here somewhere. And um, that's all I have for today, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching. If I missed any e brands, make sure to comment those down below. All right, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.